still a lot of time Sitting down here by this lake A lot of things went through my mind Should I go or should I? All right, check this out, 1964 Chevrolet Impala. This one's got the 327 under the hood. No power steering, no power brakes. It's a beautiful car inside and out. And I'm gonna be taking it down the road for a test drive, point out any kind of flaws, that way you know what you're getting. We do have financing and shipping available for you. We got 100 detailed pictures. So go over to maplemotors.com, check that out. And of course, every Monday we put new rides on. And I do these videos so you know what you get before you get here. Alright, so be sure to hit subscribe, share, hit like. Because it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. And before we take off, we like looking around the interior, placing bets. Do you think this horn works? We'll be trying it out here in a moment. Checking the interior out. Console's in decent shape. Got the four-speed shifter in the floor. Back seat on this one is not bad at all. Your package tray's not too bad. You got uh, a little imperfection back there in the corner on the headliner. See how it's kind of pushing out? This side's the same way. Headliner itself looks pretty good. This is a little saggy here. And over here, you've got a little hole that was torn. Coming across the dash. Decent shape. Let's open this. Oh, what do we got here? Some pictures of it. That's cool. Sweet. These are really old pictures, undercarriage shots. I wonder if they dated them. That would have been cool, but they didn't. Let's go ahead and start her up. The gas gauge looks like it's working, so we're going to check it out. We're going to stop and get about $25 worth of premium fuel. It's showing 94,000 miles. It is hard to stand behind the mileage in these cars. Make sure we push our tag back up in the window. Wipers. Looks like they're working. Radio. It's all the way up. It is not working. Uh, Let's see, vents. Blower motor is out on this one. I don't hear it cutting on at all. Tack, it's not coming up. Clock's not working. We'll check everything else as we're driving down the road. Did you place bets on the horn? Because it does work. All right, let's take off. Okay, so here we go. Any flaws that I see, I will point out. That's why I do these videos. pull up this trigger and go into reverse the clutch is letting out pretty much as soon as I pull up off the floor there it feels pretty good the seat on this one's leaning back a little bit I don't think it's supposed to it feels a little loose okay here we go Speedometer seems to be working pretty good. It's going into the gears like it should. When I let go of the steering wheel, it pulls me off the road to the right. It does have a slight pull to the right there. The speedometer is a little bit off, about 10 mile an hour fast. As you can see, we're fading to the right here. Go ahead and hit the brakes here. They feel pretty good. Not too bad. I don't want to confuse her pulling out. Got good pickup. Not too bad at all. And that's steering. For no power steering, it's got the right amount of play. It feels pretty good. Turn signals popping up on the dash there on both sides. So we're gonna pull in here. I'm gonna get about $25 worth of fuel right now. We are on E, I mean, almost dead on E. So 
Let's see if that gas gauge works and I'll be right back with you with some undercarriage shots. We'll try to have a little fun with this ride. Let's do it. Okay, so I put about $20 worth of fuel in this ride here. We'll check that gauge out and uh, continue rolling down the road. The gauge is coming up to about right there at the moment. Turn the key. Hey, it's working. It was on E and now it's almost half a tank. Let's keep rolling. It's that time again. Let's walk around this ride. Look for chips, scratches, flaws. Got 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com as well as financing and shipping. That'll definitely help you out. Let's get started. Coming around the front end, you can see the bumper on this one's got a few scratches. Down the lower portion here, a little hazy. Dings there. Scratches on this side too. Back on the grill, a few chips. Some scratches up top where it comes down. The chips there in the corner. Also up here. And we'll start in the back because my shadow is casted this way. Makes things a lot easier. We've looked around the front bumper. Coming down the lower portion. Looks a little wavy in this corner here it's not bad but you can definitely see something has been worked on coming on down up and over lower portion here another little spot right there and there you got a chip right here in the corner also up here there's a chip right there a little paint run there I'm gonna own up spot here back that mid section the good thing is the shadow is kind of casted out of the way so I can't go back this car's got some pretty decent paint on it
back over this top section. A little spot here in the paint. A little bit of pitting on your door handle. Mirror's in good shape. Scratch there. On the front windshield on this one, you got a few little specks. You can see there and there. Push the side uh, on this side too. Little specks. Chip right here. Chrome around your window looks pretty good. Some of the trim on this back window's got some pitting. Back window over here looks good. Not bad at all. Light scratch. Chip here. Roof on this one's in good shape. On the back here, pretty good looking chrome buffer. Little speck there. Little pitting on your tail light, like scuffs. Weather stripping looks pretty good. Looking at the edges of the trunk lid, in good shape. The trunk itself looks great. Imperfections there in the paint. Let's look down in the trunk here. Not too bad. Down here. Got some moisture, but it's solid. This side, not too bad. Open your package tray, pretty good. Coming down with the lid here. Got a ding right here. And it's locked. trunk doesn't look bad at all it's like a little silicone or something up in there back window in good shape so is the trim lower portion first back the mid section a little wavy here in the corner Little bubble at the bottom of the door there. It's got some uh, orange peel texture in this section. Also up here and here and here. Get really close, kind of show it to you. Also up here in the front, bad prep work on the paint. You can see it up top too. A little acne there, back that mid section. Pitting on your door handle. Light scratch on your trim there.
over the top section. Cracked your paint right here. Mirror looks pretty good. Trim around the window's not bad. Right scuff there. Scratch here. Front windshield, eh. That's not scratches, that's dust. There's a little scratch here though. Some light ones there, just looks like in different directions. Made it around the ride, let's check out the inside. Went up on your door panel here. You can see where people have been kicking it to try to get in and out right there in the corner. Up this way, they put a couple screws at the bottom. Little cracks here on the armrest, pitting on your door handle, and your window cranks. Gonna round your jam. Weather stripping looks good. Pin in your jam here. Little gap in the carpet. The carpet is older in this one, but it's still in decent shape. Along with the seat, it does not look bad. It has a little wear down here in the corner. A little fading going on around the steering wheel. Back seat area looks pretty good. Pump into your headliner. Your visors have got some rough edges. And the back side needs to be cleaned up a little bit better, but little rough edges on that visor there. Let's go ahead and start this up. Give her a little gas. Saw sleek. I can hear that on the driver's side. Sounds like the little gasket there at the bottom. Under the hood looks pretty good. Not too bad at all. Coming down with it, comes down easy. There's that shadow all in our way. The hood on this looks great. A good look. I don't see really anything major. There's a little ding over here. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit subscribe, share, hit like. I'll keep making them for you. Go to maplemotors.com for finance and shipping and detailed pictures. And of course, every Monday, we got new cars. Don't forget to hit subscribe and share. That helps me out quite a bit. Thanks again. See you later.